Hello everybody and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. This is going to be our first new and noteworthy mod review for Farm Sim 22. And as such, we may have some new folks that are watching this. Maybe you're new to the channel or you're new to Farm Sim. So let me just take a few brief moments to explain to you what a new and noteworthy mod review is, at least in my mind. A new and noteworthy mod review is going to take a look at the mods typically released in the Giants Mod Hub, but not exclusively released from the Giants Mod Hub. And we're going to try to pick out those, those gems, those mods that really stand out for having new ideas, interesting ideas, new concepts of ways of doing things. And as such, they should be profiled in a noteworthy manner. And here we go, our new and noteworthy mod review. Now, before we get diving into this particular mod, this video is brought to you by City Flyer. Thank you for being a farm baron. So here today, we're going to take a look at the Multifruit Buying Station by 82 Studios. This mod can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website, the in-game mod hub, and it is available for all platforms. Now, this mod is a rather interesting beast and a rather intriguing concept. And that is the Multifruit Buying Station allows you to purchase nearly every fill type available in game within limits and that is you need to be able to have a trailer or a vessel that is set up to hold that particular fill type and that is why we have so many trailers here and i have to say looking through the xml this thing is basically set up to hold and or offer for sale everything at a discount of 75% normal price. So if we look at the XML, this is going to be a long list. You can buy wheat, barley, oat, canola, sorghum, grape, olive, sunflower, soybean, maize, potato, sugar beet, sugar beet cut, cotton, sugar cane, seed, fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, manure, liquid manure, digestate, pig food, lime, herbicide, silage, additive, egg, wool, milk, water, forage, forage mixing, chaff, Tree saplings, wood chips, si um, wood chips, methane, silage, oral seed radish, poplar, wool, grass, or wood, grass, meadow grass, grass windrow, dry grass, dry grass windrow, straw, diesel, def, electric charge, snow, road salt, stone, flour, bread, cake, butter, cheese, fabric, clothes, sugar, honey, cereal. All three of the oils, sunflower, canola, and olive oil, raisins, grape juice, lettuce, tomato, strawberry, chocolate, boards, and furniture. Now, here's the caveat. A lot of those fill types toward the end don't have trailers that will accept them as fill types. Okay? We can't buy a trailer load of furniture. Just won't happen. This thing will not spawn furniture pallets. Okay, we can't walk up here and say, um, produce for me a pallet of furniture. Or produce for me a pallet of honey. So until we have a trailer that can bulk hold honey, we can't buy it out of this thing, even though it's configured to sell it. Okay, so there is going to be a subset of this massive list that we're actually going to be able to make use of today. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, maybe next year, something will come out that will allow us to bulk fill cereal. And if that's the case, then this mod is going to be for you. So here we've got an assortment of trailers, and I just wanted to demonstrate what we actually can get from this at the moment. So we have a slurry spreader, and we can get digestate and slurry out of this. And the reason I like this mod isn't that you can just buy product at a cheaper price. The reason I like this mod is because maybe you want to do organic fertilizer. You don't want to do solid chemical fertilizer or liquid chemical fertilizer, but you don't want to mess with animals at the start. Now you can buy your slurry and digestate because you don't have to own the biogas plant and you don't have to own animals and you can now use your digestate spreader, your slurry spreader, in order to do and meet your goals of being an organic farmer. 
Now here we have the fuel in-game fuel Bowser. I read to you that it will take or it will sell you diesel, right? But we can't fill it because it doesn't have the right trigger. Okay, so fuel, even though it says we can buy it, we can't right now. Maybe we'll get a trailer later in the game that will allow us to fill with fuel. Okay, now we're going to move over here to our TMR mixer. And an interesting oversight to all of those fill points is the lack of concentrate or mineral food. For some reason, we can't buy that. But here we go. We can buy totem extraction, straw, forage, silage, hay, and there you go. But this particular mixer will also accept mineral food or concentrate, as it's been described before. But for whatever reason, that fill type was left out. But that also is a fill type that is a bulk fill type. So we could have used it. And maybe we'll see an update of this mod to include that particular fill type later on. Now let's go to our normal trailer. And you're going to see that we're going to be able to buy a whole heap load of stuff. We got wheat, barley, oat, canola, sorghum, olives, sunflower, soybeans, corn, potatoes, sugar beet, sugar beet cut, sugarcane, seed, total mixed rations, forage, chaff, wood chips, silage, grass, hay, straw, snow, if you wanted to hold, hold a whole bunch of snow, road salt, and lime. Pig food, stones, manure, solid fertilizer, and back to wheat. So maybe you want to, uh, again, do manure as opposed to solid fertilizer. You can do that. You can buy a manure spreader or a trailer, and there you go. As far as production options, maybe you want to get into production of certain things, but you don't want to necessarily grow the crops. You don't want to get into olive production, but you want to make olive oil. Well, then you could buy your olives from here and get going with that. Maybe you want to uh, get into chocolate production and you have cows, but you really don't want to go into sugar beets or sugar cane. Well, you could buy sugar beets or sugar cane from here, take it to your sugar factory and get started on that production line. Maybe you don't want to do cows. Well, you're in luck because we can buy herbicide, water, or milk from this particular area also. Also liquid fertilizer. So you could get into your dairy operation by buying milk from here and not have to have cows. And that would open up the whole ability to then produce chocolate, cheese, butter. And then the butter could go to the bakery for cakes. So I see this. It's not... Not a way of cheating product, but a way of acquiring product that for whatever reason you cannot make yourself. That in in the real world, you would probably, if you had a dairy, you wouldn't be having your just your own cows. If you had cows, you'd be buying milk from other farmers, and this allows you to do that. And then the last trailer we're going to demonstrate here is the grape trailer. And this doesn't give a menu, menu option because there's only one thing this holds. So we can buy grapes from here. And that would then allow us to go ahead and get started with the grape processing facility. We can make grape juice. Or we could then produce raisins. That could then go down the chain to a cereal factory. And then we just have to put in honey from our bees and corn. A little bit of oats. And then we're going to be able to make cereal because now we can buy raisins or grapes to then produce raisins so guys that is why i think this is a new and noteworthy mod to take a look at now you may ask yourself where do i find it well you got to go into the build mode so on pc shift p we're going to go to containers and there it's going to be listed interesting enough modded placeables aren't showing up with a mod here it would be nice if it did show up a mod so that we would know which ones were base game and which ones were not right click on pc and you're going to be able to freely rotate this 360 degrees and then once you have it where you desire to put it you just plop it down with the left click and there you go so guys hope this new and noteworthy mod review was informational and helpful to you let me know in the comments what do you think of the multi-fruit buying station is this a mod that you plan to add to your list 
of mods going forward. And until next time, happy farming. <laughs>